This here is a nice cost calculator I created with a couple of clicks. Works really well. And if I click on a submit order button, I can make the order. If needed, I can also pay for it. And if it's done, then I can see all the orders here. But not only that, I can also integrate it with the WooCommerce and make it work in a way that if I add it to the cart, I'm redirected to the checkout page. Or I can display the calculator on a WooCommerce single product page like this and add it to the cart here. Setting this up is really easy and it takes only a couple of minutes. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now the plugin we're going to use for it is called Cost Calculator Builder. This one here. Currently it has more than 30,000 active installations, good rating, and it has a pro version and a free version. The main difference between the free and the pro version is that the pro version includes WooCommerce integration, PayPal, Stripe, Razorpay, and cash payments. You can add conditional logic. Take a look at this information here and you'll see what is the difference between the free and the pro version. In this video, I'm going to use the pro version, the one you see on the screen right now. Current pricing for it is $49 for one website per year. And for unlimited sites, it's $299 per year. Lifetime price is $169 for one site license and $799 for unlimited license. Those are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and you're good to go. Now the plugin comes with more than 75 different templates. Just look for the one you would like to use. Take a look at the demo. For example, venue rental template. You can display it in two columns, in vertical columns or in a horizontal layout. Payment button, download button, and send quote button. Awesome stuff. Now let's take a look at how to set it up. First things first, you need to install a plugin. If you're using a free plugin, then search for it here. If you're also using a pro plugin, then you need to install both of them here. Now, if it's done, then there is a cost calculator menu up here and cost calculator menu down below here. Let's take a look at the settings first. Global settings, you can set up the currency, currency position, thousand separator. Under the PDF ed entries, you can customize your company name, date format, add your company info, and add logo. And also you can add a PDF download button here. Whether to show the button after making payment, activate it here, and you can change the text here. If you hover on the preview link, then you'll see how does it look like. Under the contact form, you can add contact form either to all calculators if needed, set the email, subject button text, and you can also activate email quote button, the same text and information here. Under the email template, you can add a custom email title, customize the colors, add your logo, and on the right, you'll see the preview. Under the backup settings, you can back up the latest version, that is, if you want to three latest versions after saving the modifications and this is the one that does it you can later restore it if needed if you're using google recapture enter your site key here and under the payments if you're a stripe user or razor pay user then you can activate those here and under the setup you can add your public and secret key and in a similar way you can connect your paypal here and you can activate cash payments and those are the settings here. Now, let's go to the calculators. I already created some. So let's create new one. Click on a create new button. And now you can choose whether to start with a blank form or choose one of the templates. For example, fuel cost calculator. If you want, you can take a look at the demo here or click on the template button. You can add those to the favorites if needed. You can filter them by categories or search, for example, cleaning, this one here. If you would like to use a calculator, for example, now let's search for BMI calculator, that is body mass index calculator, just click on use template and done. You can preview it here. This is for the desktop and this is for the mobile. If you click on the field itself, then you can set the steps and values here. Under the settings, you can activate or deactivate. Currency sign, round value, hidden by default, currency settings, 
whether it's required or not, and whether to display it in a grand total. Now let's create the one from the scratch. So let's go to the calculators, create new. I'm going to choose new blank form. I'm going to give it the title, for example, renovation services. Done. As you see, there are 19 fields you can use. Text field, quantity, drop down, image drop down, radio select, image radio, and so on. I'm going to choose basic slider. I'm going to give it the title, square feet. Minimum value is zero. Maximum range value is 2000. Range step is 20. And default value is 50. I'm going to multiply the cost per value and it's 75. Under the settings, I'm going to add a currency sign and I'm going to display it in the grand total. So save it and done. Next, I'm going to duplicate this field and I'm going to give it a title, number of rooms, minimum range value is 1, and max range value is 10, range step is 1, and range default value is 3. I'm going to multiply the cost per value, this time it's 25 per value, and the settings will be the same. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to clone it one more time, and this time I'm going to give it a title as number of levels. Minimum range value is 1, range step is 1, range default value is 5, and max range value is 30. I'm going to multiply the cost per value, this time it's 80, all the other stuff will be the same. Save and done. Now I'm going to add a checkbox field, this one here. The first option is swimming pool, 250. Next one is exterior, value is 200. I'm not going to select default value, but under the styles, I can use different styles, whether it's default, box, box with checkbox, box with checkbox and description, and box with heading checkbox and description. Also, whether it is horizontal or vertical, I'm going to choose the default here and horizontal. If I'm going to use more than one checkbox field for the calculator, then I can select this one here that is apply this checkbox style to all checkbox fields in this calculator. Under the settings, I'm going to display currency sign and show it in a grand total. So, done. Next one, I'm going to add a formula here. Calculate square feet plus number of rooms, plus number of levels, plus outside work. Save it. Also, I'm going to give it a title that is total without tax. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to clone this field here and give it the title total, multiply it with 1.2. Save it. Now I'm going to clone it one more time and give it the title value added tax. And this time this is total minus total without tax. Save it. Drag it here. Save the form. Let's preview it. And done. Awesome. Now there is a condition part here. You can display the fields based on the conditions. In order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to go through all the options here, but the logic is simple. Select the field, drag it here, select the other field, for example, value added text. Now connect those two, click here, add a condition, and now select condition. If the square field value is greater than 100, then hide the value of the text field. Let's save it. Let's preview it. And as you see, if the value from the square feet is more than 100, then the value of the text field is hidden. In a similar way, you can create all sorts of rules here. I'm going to delete those and move to the form settings. So what do I have here? Under the summary block, I I'm going to display summary details. I'm going to display zero values in summary list, also in orders, PDF entries, and emails. I'm going to keep details 
open by default. That is, I can also close those here, but I'm going to keep those open. Next, I'm going to make the total summary block fixed on scroll, and I'm going to change the grand total title to summary. Currency is from the global settings. If needed, I can change the warning texts. I can customize the confirmation page, show this page on same as calculator, top of a calculator as a pop-up. On a separate page, you can create the page and select it here, or custom page, and you can add the link here. I'm going to display it on the same page as a calculator. This is a preview. I can change the text here, change the back to calculator button text. I'm going to display the receipt, share the receipt, and add custom button, which redirects to my website. Let's save it, and let's take a look at the order form. Is this one here down below. If I would like to activate it, then I'm going to enable it here, change the text and buttons. I'm going to add three fields, total without tax, value added tax and total. If needed, I can activate payment gateways, but I'm not going to do it right now. Now, I'm not going to set it up as Woo product or Woo checkout. I'm not going to set up the payments and I'm not going to use webhooks. So, all in all, everything is done. I'm going to save it. And now there is an embed button. If you click here, you can insert it manually by copying this code. But since I'm using the Gothenburg block editor, I'm going to open up my page and search for Cost Calculator Builder. I'm going to select the Renovation Services Calculator. I'm going to update it, open up the page, and there you go. Works like a charm. Now let's test the order itself. So, make order, name, email, phone, message. Let's submit the order. And done. Thank you for your order. Order ID, back to calculator, go to website, download PDF. Let's test it. This one here. I can send it. Just fill the fields and send to myself if needed, and done. And this way you can create all sorts of calculators. Couple of other things to demonstrate. First, if I open up the renovation services form, then you'll see there is a previous saved backup. There are three backups from the last saved. As you remember, we activated it earlier, so if I need to restore something, I can do it here. And the other thing is, if you go to the orders, then you'll see all the submissions. You can see the status and open it up and see what the information. You can email the quote or export to PDF. Now we're going to integrate this calculator to the WooCommerce and all the WooCommerce orders are under the WooCommerce and the orders menu. So this is something you should know. But yeah, now let's take a look at how to make it work with, with WooCommerce. So I'm going to go back here and under the Woo products. I'm going to choose Woo Checkout. I'm going to activate it. I'm not going to replace the product. Instead, I'm going to select this renovation product here. Now, what happens after the submission? I'm going to redirect to the checkout page without tax because I have set up my WooCommerce in a way that taxes are added on the checkout page. Now, I'm going to save it. Let's refresh the form here. And now, as you see, instead of the make order, there is an add to cart button here. Let's test whether it works. I'm going to click on add to cart button. I'm going to be redirected to my checkout page. And there you go. It is here. Now, last thing, I'm going to go to the calculator once again. Now I'm going to open up Woo products and I'm going to add this calculator to the WooCommerce product page itself. So. I'm going to activate calculator for WooCommerce products. I can choose whether to display this calculator for these categories here or for the specific products. I'm going to choose this one, renovation. I'm not going to use WooCommerce add to cart form because I had it already in my calculator. Now I can choose where to display it and I'm going to display it before product meta. If needed, I can link WooCommerce fields, that is price, and so on. 
with values from my own field square feet and and other but i'm not going to do that so i'm going to delete it and save it now i'm going to go to the products open it up there is a renovation product i created earlier if i view the product then as you see it's here the team i'm using is called Bloxy team this one allows me to hide the price also here if your team won't allow it then you need to use a code snippet for it i'm gonna put the link to the code snippet that hides your price in the video description other than that let's add it to the cart and it's once again here now one more thing if you're using woocommerce integration then what i'm gonna suggest you to do is set it up as a virtual product otherwise you need to mess with the shipping but if you need shipping then don't do that what else did i do i hid it from the catalog because i need to use it as a calculator on a separate page like this one here now as you saw creating all sorts of cost calculators for the wordpress or woocommerce is really easy just add your fields add it to the page and done now this is one way to customize your WooCommerce experience. I have also made a separate video about how to customize your WooCommerce single product page with a simple code snippet hacks. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now because there's a video I made about it. In the meantime, take care.